Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we are going to talk about GDevelop 3D. Now GDevelop has supported 3D for a while now, and it's honestly amazing how far you can go with it. So whether you're building your dream game from scratch or customizing one of the many starter templates, well let's be real, the biggest roadblock is almost always the 3D assets. Most free assets don't match your style, and the good ones are either too expensive, too complex, or just not game ready. That's why today I'm showing you a tool that lets you create custom 3D models, styled, rigged and game ready in just a few minutes. It's called Triple Studio and it's completely changed how I handle 3D in GDevelop. Now we'll get into that in a bit but first let's set up our 3D scene inside GDevelop. Alright so let's hop into GDevelop. I'm going to start with one of the beauty in 3D templates. You can find this by going into file, create a game and let's get our 3D car hunt. So I'll go ahead and create new game and let's close this and let's head into our level 1 x null layout. Alright now this 3D car hunt template gives you a strong head start, it includes a fully set up environment with player controlled vehicles, interactive props, it's clean, functional and gives you a great foundation to build on. I'd say it's perfect for learning how 3D works in GDevelop and even better for quickly testing gameplay ideas. But if you want to really make it your own, give it a unique style that matches the world you're creating, you'll probably want to swap out some of these 3D models. Now let's take a quick look. So in our player, as you can see, the asset here is a GLB file which was either downloaded online or created in Blender. Now that's why I use Triple Studio. It lets me generate high quality rig 3D assets from scratch without ever touching Blender. Alright, now let's head into Triple Studio, a powerful web-based AI tool that generates 3D models from either a prompt or an image. I'd say it's beautiful speed and simplicity, so no need to install anything. You can go from idea to export right inside your browser. Alright, so once you're logged in, you can go ahead and click on generate 3D models. Alright, so we're greeted with the generation tab and on the left hand side we have four options either text to 3d image to 3d multi views to 3d as well as batch 3d gen all right so in text to 3d we can type in a prompt and triple should generate an image based on our prompts or if you already have an image you can go ahead and click on image to 3d and triple should create a 3d model based on your image but for this example i want to replace some of the default assets in the 3d coin hunts templates like the player vehicle collectible coin with custom models that better match the style I'm going for. So for that let's click on text to 3D and then in here we can type low holy car. Alright so here's a tip you can use the creative rewriting button to get better results so don't just describe the shape give it some personality. Think of it like you're pitching an idea to an artist. So go ahead and click on creative rewriting. Alright so we have an enhanced prompt over here so we get we have a playful low poly race car with its cartoon eyes wearing a race car and and spotting a determined green zooming through the bouncy suspension all right so for this i don't need this part we're in a racist curve and spotting a determined green so i can go ahead and take this out as well as i don't need the cartoon eyes all right so we can work with this all right so let's go ahead and click on generate image preview Alright, so we have our image over here. Now in just a few seconds, Triple generated an image that visualizes the character based on my prompts. Now once I like how the image looks, we move into the 3D model generation stage. But before we generate the image, I get to choose how it looks. Now in style, Triple gives me 6 built-in style presets. So we have the cartoon, Christmas, Barbie, Clay, Steampunk and Alien. So you can pick the one that fits the style you're going for. For this, I'll leave it as none. Now let's take a look at the important options before generating the final 3d model so over here we have private now private keeps your model visible only to you and not used for ai training all right so we have smart low poly this helps reduce poly counts while keeping the shape clean and usable while topology lets you control mesh structure for better compatibility and finally we have hd texture this keeps the model looking sharp and detailed now this says is matter because they give you control over how optimized and game ready the model is all right so once that sets I hit generate and triple starts building the model based on the image. So on the right over here you can see how long it's going to take. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back once it's done.
effects and that's it in just a few minutes we have a brand new model that's customized textured and ready to go now we also need to generate our coin so let's go back in the generate 3d models panel next to 3d and let's get a low poly coin with star in the middle and let's go ahead and click generate image preview and there we go we have an image based on our prompt so we're just going to leave all of this with the default value and click generate and just like before you can see how long it's going to take to generate our model so i'll go ahead and pause this video and come back once it's done and there we go we have our coin generated this looks really good now before exporting let's quickly go over the tabs in triple studio that give you deeper control over your assets all right so first we have the overview tab this is where you find a quick summary of your model so you can see if it's segmented textured rigged as well as the reference image and the prompt which was used to generate that image and at the bottom of that panel you can get other information about this model all right so in the property panel you can see our model over here you can go ahead and modify its position rotation as well as its scale and finally you can specify if you want pbr enabled or you can reduce the metallic material as well as the roughness all right so since this is a coin i want the metallic material set to one i would say it's a great place to double check since before downloading especially if you're creating lots of assets next we have the retopology tab this one's important for performance now triple applies smart low poly topology which helps reduce unnecessary geometry so let's get our coin and in here let's enable smart low poly and you can also choose whether you want quad based or triangle based topology this is super helpful depending on your game engine so if you're targeting mobile or web builds in gdevelop keeping your poly count low is a big win for performance we'll go ahead and click on the retopology now just like before in the assets panel you should be able to see how long it's going to take so i'll go ahead and pause this video and come back once it's done all right and here we go so we have our model which is ready for web and mobile games all right so next in our texture tab you can go ahead and set the texture for your model this gives you an option to either create a texture from a prompt or use our reference image you can also set things like the style reference this gives us four styles by default you can upload yours if you have one all right so go ahead and select classic or our style reference and let's click on generate texture all right and there we go we have our coin using the classic reference all right so if you want to make quick changes to your models look the magic brush is a game changer so in here we can go ahead and generate a preview so the primary function of the magic brush is texture repair now this adjustable slider is for reference image weight this controls how closely the output adheres to the original reference so you can set it to a lower value for a closer match or a higher one for creative textures now to apply our generated texture preview to our model all we have to do is select our brush tool over here and paint directly over our target areas so let's go over here now the new model should blend seamlessly onto the final model so here we go we can go ahead and drag this over here so we can see how it's gradually changing to match our texture preview here and here we go we can increase the size of the brush by setting this slider to a higher value and here we go all right so once you're done you can go ahead and click on save texture and there we go now finally you can make use of pbr generator this should give your model a more realistic lightning and reflections this is perfect for a more polished and professional look all right so once everything is ready we can go ahead and export our model so you can do that by clicking on the export button over here and let's set this to coin and let's set the format to glb and export all right let's also do the same for our car exports let's set car here glb and exports all right now we're ready to bring it into to gdevelop now in gdevelop in our player object let's go ahead and replace our assets choose from device assets now i'm going to go ahead and select our car here we go all right let's go ahead and set our z degrees to zero and apply this now we also need to do the same for our coin so in here let's go ahead and replace our coin model choose from device and coin now here we need to set the y degrees to 90 and apply so we can go into our menu and preview and there we go our texture 3d model is now part of the game you can also see our coins over here so there we go in just a few steps we went from a creative idea to a fully functional stylized 3d character 
inside a walk-in GDevelop project. Now, Triple Studio made it easy from generation to styling and export. And GDevelop made it just as easy to bring it all to life. So if you want to try Triple Studio for yourself, check the link in the description. Use the promo code GEMDEV to get 60% off when you subscribe. Plus, you get bonus credits when signing up using my link. So you can start creating today. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.